In the last UCSC Genome Browser tutorial, we discussed the tool BLAT. BLAT allowed us to take a sequence of nucleotide letters and find where that sequence is present in the human genome. In this video, we're going to discuss another UCSC Genome Browser tool, the Table Browser. In some ways, the Table Browser does the opposite of BLAT. We can take pieces of the genome and ask the Table Browser to give us the sequence of those regions. Let's head into the Table Browser. We can see right away that the Table Browser offers us an immense number of features. I'm not going to be able to cover all of them in this video, but I'll try to give you some of the most frequently used features. For example, uh, let's suppose that we wanted to know the sequence of a gene. Let's say the gene aquaporin-2, which is a membrane protein that allows water to pass into the cell. If I wanted to know the sequence of aquaporin-2, I would start off by selecting the group, genes, and gene predictions. The track, UCSC genes, the table of known genes, and then I'll put in the identifier of the gene of interest. So let's type it in, AQP2, aquaporin-2. From there, I just need to make sure that my output format is the sequence and I can get the output. Uh, we wanted the genomic sequence, not the protein or mRNA sequence. And uh, we also wanted the gene, not the promoter. So let's get the 5' UTR, the coding sequence, and the 3' UTR, and the introns in between. And finally, why don't we say that we want our exons of the gene in uppercase and everything else in lowercase. And there we go. Here is the sequence of the aquaporin-2 gene with the introns in lowercase and everything else in uppercase. Just to make sure we got this right, why don't I copy this coordinate from the title of our sequence and paste it back into the genome browser to verify that this was the sequence we were looking for. There we go. It is. Uh, our region did define the aquaporin-2 sequence from 5' prime to 3'. Prime. So this window really does give us the sequence of the aquaporin-2 gene. Now let's say I did not want the entire sequence of the aquaporin-2 gene, but instead let's say I wanted just the sequence of, I don't know, the 3' prime end of the first intron in aquaporin-2. So I just highlighted that 3' prime end, and up here I can see the coordinates of, of this region. I'm going to show you how to use the table browser to find the sequence of these exact coordinates. So first I will copy these coordinates, and then I will go and make a custom track out of these coordinates. So I'll add a custom track, and I'll paste the coordinates that I copied in the previous window. Now I'm going to have to remove the colons, the commas, and the dashes to get this in the, into the proper format. But once I do that, I can submit these coordinates and view this custom track in the table browser. Let's go. So now you can see here that my group, instead of being genes and gene predictions, now my group is custom tracks and my track is just the user track that I made. I can keep my output format as the sequence and by getting the output I will find the sequence of that 3' prime region of the intron. Uh, this is just a formatting options. Uh, let's keep it in lowercase and we can get the sequence. So this is the much shorter sequence of that region of the aquaporin-2 intron that I was interested in. And just to make sure we got this right, let's copy this coordinate in the header of, of the returned FASTA file and submit it to make sure that it was the sequence we thought it was. And it, it definitely is. We are inside of the aquaporin-2 gene and in, in the 3' prime end of our intron of interest. Now, the cool thing about what I just showed you, making a custom track and then using the table browser, is that you can use it to find any sequence in the human genome as long as you know the start and end coordinates. So that's pretty useful.
I would like to show you one of the genome-wide capabilities of the UCSC Genome Browser's Table Browser tool. Let's head back into the Table Browser and put ourselves back into the group of genes and gene predictions, the track UCSC genes, and the table of known genes. The thing we're going to do differently this time is instead of specifying one gene under the identifiers feature, we're going to look for a lot of genes that share a similar characteristic. So let's go under the filters and let's say that I'm interested in getting the sequence of every gene where the number of exons, the exon count, is exactly equal to 33. So I want the sequence of every gene in the genome that has exactly 33 exons. I will submit and um, there could be a lot of genes I don't know how many to expect so in cases like this it's usually a good idea to specify an output file instead of trying to view these sequences in your web browser so I'm going to get the output of this request the genomic sequences of these genes the entirety of these genes with the exons and uppercase and I will get the sequences delivered to me in this exon33.txt output file. Took a little while to download, but here we go. We can start looking through all of these genes. So these were all of the features of the UCSC Genome Browser's table browser that I was able to show you in this video. But as you can see, there are many, many more features for you to check out and hopefully use in your research. Uh, please post questions uh, in the comments below if you are wondering about a particular feature. And uh, lastly, I want to thank uh, YouTube user Kyungun Kim for correcting an earlier version of this video. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.